Hey guys, thanks for my name here. Um, I just wanted to show you a couple of new functions of the timeline um, and maybe the layers palette if it's because this may not be so long. Um, previously, we couldn't separate the X and Y dimensions and in the case of uh, layer transform the Z as well. Um, and now we can, which makes it possible to do things we couldn't do before much easier. Um, so I'm just creating a, a simple bounce up and down and I'll create a cycle. Um, so what that will do is make it keep bouncing. Okay. Now previously if we wanted to keep it bouncing and move it across the screen we would have to basically do it by hand because once we move it it's going to cycle, 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 cycle and then suddenly move. Um, and that's because the X and Y were completely paired um, and you can see that if I now right click on the transform channel and go to separate dimensions you see that there's a cycle going both in X and in Y um, and that means that the two are locked together um, but what we can do is I'll delete these layers um, key points and now you'll see that it's moving across because we've already got this um, Y channel keyframe here um, is going to move across independently of bouncing up and down. Um, so that lets us um, edit these motions independently. We're going to just correct this bounce a little bit and it is going to keep cycling. Um, and Y, I mean X, <laughs> um, you can just edit this to make it do whatever you want and this is really useful uh, obviously in this example but for other reasons as well um, animating other things you can now split all the channels both um, well on vector channels and on bone channels um, and on layer channels so everything is independent now another cool thing is that now we've got this bouncing we might want to edit the edit the um, the shape of the ball say so you might notice these little tiny dots here and what they do is mute the uh, animation on that channel so if I click that you'll notice that it's just going across but it's not bouncing anymore because I've muted this temporarily it means you don't have to delete these keys uh, but you can just stop it from moving so if I do it the other way you'll see that it'll it will bounce oh, I muted them both it will bounce up and down now without doing the across channel and what this means is that while that's muted I could go to the ball and edit the keyframes um, or edit the shape of the ball so that um, it looks like it's bouncing now it's quite difficult to do that I mean I've done it on a cycle um, but if I shift click the uh, the bones and ball you'll see that well because the ball doesn't have any keyframes let's add a keyframe here now do the same thing we've got the ball here which I can select just by clicking on its name and we've got the bones layer here now if I consolidate this it just shows it on a single a single channel so now I can see where my hit points are um, so if at this point I go to the to the ball and I can't see them anymore so another way of doing it rather than keeping it selected um, is you can tick these boxes here and that means regardless of what channel you've got selected they'll stay um, highlighted on your timeline so if I untick that and I did that I could actually go here um, and then I could select the ball that way but why don't we just tick that there so I, I always see the bones bounce and I'll move the ball so that now if I if I edit the um, I'm holding shift to do like a squash and stretch thing I might want to move these oh, I'll move these back so as you can see I can actually it shouldn't do that until it's got impact and then move that there okay, 
and then I'll do the other way and then I'll bring it back to how it was okay so now we've got this ball bouncing up and down all I have to do well if let's cycle this too back to frame one it's going to keep doing that animation that I've just added I don't know if you can see it on the screencast um, but all I have to do is if I unconsolidate these channels and I unmute this it will do it as it's going across now so it's a really handy way of if you want to make edits to something um, say I wanted to actually edit the ball something on the surface of the ball while I've already done a bunch of animation just mute all your animation and um, and you can just see the the ball as though it's not moving so that's really handy um, so that's it for now I was going to show you some things around here but um, we'll do that in another video because this is already six minutes um, if you have any questions uh, feel free to send them along either on Facebook or on the Lost Marble forum where I'll be posting this video um, or on YouTube. Alright, cheers, bye.